So it's 8.30 in the morning and there is a very bright sky, a very bright sun, a clear sky today. So I've just pulled in front, I've just pulled up with the uh, solar panels raised to see what I'm going to get. Now what I am managing at the moment, considering it's only 8.30 in the morning, I'm managing two and a half amps and it has jumped to two, it has managed, oh sorry, it's 2.3 amps, but it has jumped to two and a half. And this is only 8.30 in the morning, nowhere near peak sun. So I have a feeling that once we hit peak sun, I'll be able to put double that at least, um, which would be a nice trickle charge. And I reckon I could get another, I dare say 10, 10 to 20 miles in a day like this, if I was to charge all day. Um, which isn't too bad actually, if I'm ever stuck for juice and I just need that extra boost I can um, I can park up for a day, just relax, let the sun do its work. So I've been charging for about an hour now. Um, I've been having a look, keeping an eye on the dial and uh, this is just over an hour but at an hour I had charged up at um, 140 0.8 watt hours. So this is quite a cool little bit of gear because it tells you um, how many amps are going, it tells you how many watts you're getting out of the panels, but it also tells you um, how long you've been running for and how many watt hours you've generated. So I've got 140.8 in an hour. This is off the morning sun, so midday sun would be expected to be a lot more, but I think I may have to push on to Swanage just to charge up and get back to Lulworth. So and what I've worked out is that with the 23 kilowatt battery um, and predicting that I will get maybe 100 miles pulling the trailer, I would have got 155 miles without the trailer, but um, as the solar power is on the trailer, I'll factor that in. So say 100 miles, I'm only getting 200, about 233.28 um, watt hours per mile. So I roughly 60% of that, so I'm getting 0.6 miles charged per hour um, and uh, times that by 9 um, I, think I, I think I worked out that I was getting on a summer's day uh, I should be able to charge up at minimum about 5 miles a day which isn't bad I mean it's not a huge amount um, but I suspect I could push it to maybe seven or eight miles a day uh, if I'm charging at the midday sun and taking in about five or six amps or up to seven amps at peak sun for a few hours. So this is a like a minimum figure, a minimum, a minimum estimation. Um, I mean, five miles doesn't sound like a lot, but it does make a difference. And if I'm parked up somewhere for say two or three days, that's 15 miles, and that would take me to the next location. So, as a as a small like trickle charge, it's not bad. But this just kind of proves the concept works, because if I had, um, if I was able to pump around 10 to 15 amps, or up to 20 amps, so I'd probably need a couple more panels down each side that open out, um, and maybe some at the front. But if I was to be able to put enough to charge up at 20 amps, I mean, at most, I reckon 10 to 15 would be comfortable. And that would easily push me to about 20 miles a day um, charge. So it is, uh, the concept works. I just need to, um, I just need to upscale it and that's where the cost comes in. So I've parked up at a uh, car park in Swanage to have a couple of car chargers, electric car chargers around here. Um, I've also got the solar power hooked up just to kind of supplement the charge. Now if we have a look at this, um, let's see, can we get it to show? Uh, so yeah, we've got nearly three amps coming out of the solar this time. Um, the sun is almost midday, but I haven't got it at the perfect angle, so I could probably push that up to four amps. Uh, so that's just doing its thing. I've got both chargers on at 108 amps, um, which therefore uh, I should be getting 108, 9, 10, 11, 111 amps. I should be fully charged in about two hours because unfortunately the max stay um, is uh, two hours here. So I'm just going to have a wander up to the beach up there, have a little look around, relax, get some ice for the cool box, and then um, and then build my way back to Lulworth.